Ich bin's Andy und ich bin hier mit einer absoluten Legende, viermaliger Olympiagewinner Jay Cutler, The Comeback Kid. Und ich werde ihm die Frage stellen, wie das für ihn war, damals wieder zurückzukommen. So hi Jay, um, my question to you is, as the Comeback Kid, how hard was it for you after winning two Olympias, then having to lose the next one and then coming back? I was the only one ever to do it in history, yes. but. You have to believe in yourself and you have to know your ability. But at the same time, I'm pretty stubborn too. So I knew I could come back and do it. And uh, it's, listen, it's not easily done since I am still the only one in history to do that. I absolutely believe that because the mental fortitude that you have to have yes. to achieve that. Can you, because a lot of athletes, fighters are watching this, can you give them an advice? What was the main point to stabilize your mind? Uh, I think, you know, you just have to kind of step step back a little bit, realize what your goals are, and surround yourself with positive energy, but at the same time, you have to have self-belief, and you have to just put the work in, and sometimes it's just circumstance. And listen, in the fight game, it's it can be anything can happen. And that doesn't mean that just because you lose, you know, that's the end of your career. I think everyone has to have that that no-lose attitude and just come back no matter what. We have to all deal with circumstance and uh, rise again. Very well said. Um, so I see you have an interest in fighting. If you would, could pick one fighter that is your favorite, who would it be? I would say Chuck Liddell probably because I know Chuck on a personal level. That was the heyday where I was watching he tore or Tito Ortiz. I was watching Randy Couture. I was watching everyone. but. You know, Chuck was one of those guys that, you know, he set the standard. He was a pioneer. And uh, I'm looking forward to UFC 300 this weekend, actually. And that's got, that's got to be awesome. UFC 300 is also something I'm looking forward to. Um, do you have a favorite for the main event? Um, I don't have a favorite necessarily. I'm actually favoring Cody Garbrandt because he's my guy. And I think he's like one of the first fights, actually. So he's kind of the, the fight that I'm looking forward to seeing the most. That makes sense. Jay, thank you so much. And I have to also tell you personally, from a personal level, when I was 16 and you went to the battles against Ronnie Coleman, you were one of my inspirations because the way you carried yourself was so calm and humble, but still dominant. And thank you for your career. I appreciate you following along and I appreciate all the great fans out there that support any sport there is. We all have our favorites, but you know there are some goats of what they do. And obviously Ronnie was one of those which gave me the motivation, so thank you. You're welcome, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you.